Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do your dailies. I had to stop them for a minute because I don't know how to do timestamps. So I'd like to give a shout out to Eva, who was gracious enough and kind enough to help me. So thank you very much, Eva. So this is going to be for Monday, August 22nd, or whenever you come across it, we're going to go Aries to Pisces. Delilah's here with us as usual, our little mascot and spirit guide on this channel. Thank you very much for being here. Please hit the subscribe if you'd like to feel so motivated, to share the notification bell. And, you know, I tried to do this fun thing. I thought it would be a big joke. You hit the, you know, the dislike challenge. Nobody's feeling that either. So I don't know why nobody wants to hit the like or dislike, but I encourage you to hit a button. If you can't find it in your heart to hit the like, please hit the dislike. But get your energy out there because the energy is dense in these collective readings. There are a lot of you. Uh, don't be a gavone. That is to say, sharing is caring. So I encourage you to take only what resonates with you. That is if something resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else. Time is linear. These readings are timeless. Even though they're dated, when you come across it, it's when you're meant to see it. Also, we are gender neutral. I may say he or she, depending on the energy that flips out. But, you know, you could be in your masculine or your feminine at any time. So please apply the energy to your situation. All right, so here we go. So with an attitude of gratitude, I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for all signs for the Daily Collective, Monday, August 22nd, 2022, or whenever they come across it. So well, one big hello to everybody, and in case nobody told you today, I love you all, and I hope everything's great. Here we go. Aries first. Okay, Spirit and Ancestors, please show me what Aries needs to see. Please show me what Aries needs to see. Please show me what Aries needs to see. Watch out. Sorry, Dilly, I didn't mean to startle you, honey. Okay. What I'd like to say is I always make sure my cards are in the upright. So if, in fact, they come out in reverse, I do read reversals. Some people don't. It's, you know, subjective, I guess, right? It's subjective. Okay, let's see. All right, Aries, right away I can see... Uh, you got some conflict around you today, right? This is a Leo card, so people, I guess, are feeling a little ornery. There's going to be some conflict around you. Uh, it's not going to stress you out, though. You're not, you don't even care. You're going to roll it right off your shoulders. Um, yeah, definitely, because you got the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> so that stress, and, you know, if you went through a painful ending, you're over it. You are coming into your own reading, Aries. You're the Emperor here, so that's excellent. Uh, you're in your full power, I'm hearing. Now, you could have somebody around you that's embodying earth energy, or this could be you, but Princess of Pentacles is like the big sister, you know, of the bunch. This is a business person, you know, worried about how to learn how to manage their money. So some of you might come, be coming out of some financial hard stuff, and you still got the apprentice card, so you're learning how to better handle your money or your financial situations. Uh, you got a seven of swords here, which is dishonesty. Be careful of any lying people around you or dishonest people. Um, that one, you know, you got this queen of, you know, people like to bust chops. I don't know what to tell you, you know, and people just love to lie. So, but you're going to see right through it. Um, you got the queen of cups here today and this is, you know, she's the mom of the bunch, right? I always say this is the mom. So, but she's in reverse. So there could be somebody around you who's being very, uh, unsupportive, not very balanced, very unloving, you know, just a bitch on wheels, I'm hearing. Sorry, male or female. So be careful of any nasty-ass energies around you today. You know, uh, it could be a water sign. Or maybe it's just you feeling like you don't want to be dealing with people. I don't blame you. Show me a couple more for Aries. Sorry, Delilah. Okay, so now we got an Aquarius or an Aquarian energy around you. So you apply it to the situation. doesn't have to be an Aquarius. It could be, you know, in somebody's chart. I always encourage everybody to go over to a place like Cafe Astrology if you don't know what your top four are. And at least, you know, you put your information in for free and they spit it out, okay? So um, so maybe you have Aquarius in your chart or there's an Aquarius around you or somebody has Aquarius in their chart. But this is, you know, this is um, prosperity, brilliance. This is the divine shining down on you. This is beauty. Um, yeah, so, you know, you could have some conflict maybe over your money, but you're going you're gonna to find a way. You're going to be enlightened. I'm hearing enlightened. Thank you very much, Spirit and Ancestors. Now you got a nine of cups. This is change and perseverance. So you might, you know, 
You're coming out as a stressful period here. You're learning how to do something new. You could be, you know, changing and persevering, which is, you know, which make perfect sense, actually. So there you go. Let's see. That's way too many. Way too many, guys. Hold on. Thank you. Two more, please. Okay. Now you got a three of wands, so you're going to be at crossroads. This is crossroads. Sure it is, because if you're learning how to do something new here, you know, especially after this conflict. And uh, ten of wands is, unfortunately, burdens. So knock those burdens off, Aries. You know, if you, if half of them are usually somebody else's anyway, give everybody back their own wands to carry, right? Why do you got to do that? Then you got the seven of wands here. So that's standing your ground. So stand your ground. Give everybody back their burdens. Figure out, you know, what's best for you. You're at crossroads. Nine of cups is, you know, changing, persevere, changing with the times, rolling with the times. There is beauty, inspiration, and prosperity around you. There's some kind of a bitchy energy here. I don't know, you know, this is a water energy. This is the mom, this is like the stepmom from hell, so be careful of that. Could be a boss, could be just, you know, a supervisor, could be your actual mother. You got the seven of swords here. This is like some dishonesty around you. Maybe, you know, you're going to be learning how to do something new. Maybe handle your money in a better way. You're in your power, in your emperor mode. There is no more, excuse me, painful endings or, you know, destruction around you. You've been through that. Been there, done that, I'm hearing. And uh, you're not stressed out over it. And you got the five of wands here, which is there is some conflict around you. So just be mindful of that. All right, Aries, thank you so much. Until tomorrow, love and light. Here we go. Now we're going to see Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. Let me give a shuffle to these cards. Hi, Taurus. How are you guys? Here we go. One. The light love. I was shuffling the cards the other day. One popped out and startled her, and she's been looking at them sideways ever since. Just crazy. She's been around them for years, right? She's not afraid of cards. She's not afraid of no cards, right, Delilah? Okay, here we go. Taurus, clearing ground. Thank you. Here we go. Show me what Taurus needs to see for the day, please. Thank you, Taurus. Show me, give me some cards for Taurus. Okay, seven of swords and the three of pentacles and a two of swords. Okay, so swords we know are air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Seven is dishonesty. So yeah, Taurus, you too. Be careful of some dishonest people around you, any dishonest deals. You know, just people lying and being messed up on every level possible, I'm hearing. You're going to be learning how to do something new as well, but don't be in denial about it. And if you have toxic behaviors or any toxic people or anything toxic around you, sex, drugs, rock and roll, this could even be people trying to drag you into their shit. Misery loves company. Okay. Don't be in denial about it. Now you got a six of cups coming in. This six of cups is nostalgic. Oh, well, you know what I say about that. Try not to be nostalgic. It doesn't do you any good. Usually when you're nostalgic, you, you know, you're thinking about things in a better way than they actually were. You know, if you if you get to the reality of the situation and you get out of denial, you realize that they were probably shit to begin with. So now you got this Ace of Cups in reverse. This is, joy, you know, yeah, Taurus, you're not feeling uh, any inner peace, maybe because of this nostalgia, you know, but you do have to learn how to do something new here. Don't be in denial. Let me see what we have. Give me a couple more cards, please, and thank you. Oh, God, another, another, another one stuck out with burdens. Okay. Um, why are these cards? Look, my cards are all in the upright. I just got to show you that. So if they're coming out in reverse, that's how you're supposed to read them. That's spirit doing that. All right. So there are burdens around you today. You could be burdened down with anything. Maybe, you know, other chores or people's bullshit, you know. So be careful of that. Now you got a king of swords in reverse. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This, this is a very illogical, you know, this is uncreative, unorganized, inefficient, ignorant person. So I doubt this is you. This could be somebody around you. It could be your boss. It could be, you know, your father, your mother. It could be, you know, your friend. Be careful of that. Uh, you've got judgment in reverse. So there will be no breakthroughs today for you. Let's see what else we have here. We have the four of cups. Oh, my own again. All right. So again, with this nostalgia and stagnancy. So please, 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 you know, nostalgic, nostalgia, and stagnancy. When you're nostalgic, yeah, you're stagnant. What do I tell you about stagnancy equals stinks? So snap out of it. Snap out of it. You've got the three of cups here. This is celebration and friendship. Maybe you need to go out with your friends a little bit, Taurus. So do it. And then you got the nine of swords. This is stress. So you're stressed out. You're feeling nostalgic. You're feeling nostalgic. There is no breakthroughs. Maybe that's why you're in your head about it. You got this uh, pissy ass person around you. That's not being very helpful. It's like, uh, you know, 
Yeah, it's, it's a very logical person. This is burning you down. You got the Ace of Cups in reverse. So, this, you know, of course you're not feeling any joy in the peace. We just talked about that. When any toxicity has got to go, kick it to the curb. Don't be in denial about it. Accept it for what it is and kick it to the curb. I'm saying learn how to do something different. And then you, you know, be careful of any dishonest son of a bitches around you. That's what I'm hearing. So, <laughs> there you go, Taurus. I love you guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow. Again, shout out to Eva. Thank you, Eva. Now, we have the Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Hi, Gemini. Here we go. Hope everything's great with everybody. Okay, let's shuffle these. Three shuffles. That's the Holy Trinity, right? I told you, people. And in Brooklyn, we call it a trifecta because, you know, yeah. When o OTB used to be around, I'm that old that my grandmother, I mean, my grandfather used to send me to the OTB to put gambling bets in for him. So, yeah. Okay, I don't think they have OTB anymore. And if they do, it's online. Knock it out. Show me Gemini, please. What does Gemini need to see for Monday, 22nd, 2022, or whenever they come across it? Okay, here we go. We have, oh, King of Cups. All right, so right now you're in a loving energy. You, you know, King of Cups, this is your daddy. Who's your daddy? He's your daddy. This is very fair. So you could have water in your chart, okay? Or there could be somebody around you that's a water sign or has water in their chart. But this is a loving, fair, balanced energy. This is, you know... This is helpful, charming, supportive, very warm energy, okay? So either you're in a very warm energy, Gemini, or somebody else's. Now, this is Capricorn, right? Death. So this is, you know, yeah, this could be somebody around you, but this is an ending and a transformation. So maybe you are ending something in your life so it could transform, or something has ended in your life, you know, spirit did that. So that you can change, okay? So you could change and transform. Now you got the wheel of fortune turning in your favor, Gemini. That's excellent. That's excellent. That's so good, right? So that's karma. Good karma coming your way. Uh, you got this Queen of Swords energy around you as well. Now, this could be you or this could be somebody else. Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this is probably you, unless you're dealing with another Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody that has that in their chart. But this is a very, you know, smart, logical, using your head type energy, okay? Thinking about what you're doing and, you know... Yeah, before you act, show me what else for Gemini today, Monday. There we go. Okay. Uh, eesh, you know how much I hate this card? I don't have to say it every time, okay? If you're new, then I'm going to just tell you I hate this freaking card. This is the worst card in the deck. You could be experiencing some emotional pain. I hope it's not because of a third-party situation because, yeah, that's what that looks like. But, you know, it could be emotional pain on every level. If it is a third-party situation, people, my heart is going out to you because I've been there and I know what it feels like. Now you've got this Knight of Nine of Wands. This Nine of Wands is, you know, fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, and it's perseverance. So you're persevering through maybe a broken heart right now. You know, there could be a tower today. There could be some kind of a shock, some kind of a revelation, some kind of information coming in. But this is usually divine giving you a kick in the ass, right, to get you motivated. Now, if you're going down this way, you got the Wheel of Fortune coming in. It's going to give you a shock. This could be a good shock, actually, right? Hold on a second. Let's get these out. We have, okay, the Nine of Cups in reverse. This is, you know, you're done changing, you're done persevering, you're finished with a situation. Now, if we're going this way, changing perseverance, the tower is coming in. So that makes a lot of sense. Two more for Gemini. You also have this Virgo energy here, this Hermit. Uh, this is, you know, this is going inside and seeking your own inner wisdom. So if there was a King of Cups energy involved, whether this is you or somebody else in a third party situation, you know, you are now going inside yourself to get your own answers. You don't need, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, any way you read this, right? You're using your head about this tower situation. Show me two, three more, three more for Gemini. One, two, let's go. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Okay. Come on now. I know I talk fast when I channel. Uh, I think there's a way to slow it down. I can't help it. Okay. So now we got, oh, Prince of Pentacles. Well, here you go. And the Five of Cups. So you are experiencing some loss and sadness. It's probably because of this third party situation here or this emotional pain, whatever it is. The, you know, Spirit's coming in to give you a tower. So you're going to get a kick in the ass to get you out of this, okay? You're going to be using your head. Now you got this Prince of Pentacles. This is male or female. This could be you or it could be somebody else. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This is like, you know, 
This is like, uh, this is a stubborn, responsible, loyal energy. This is somebody who's who's serious. They're solid. They want to they want to learn how to be the King of Pentacles. They're not screwing around. And then you got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So maybe you, you know today you're not feeling like you you know the stability around you. Maybe you're on a little rocky ground, but this will pass. Okay, so you know you got this wheel of fortune coming in. So you're feeling a little unstable. Maybe you're worried about your money. You're feeling lost and sadness. You're gonna go inside yourself to figure you know out what's best for you. Uh, you suck, you're sick, you're done with the changing and the pers persevering. Uh, it's coming in to shake shit up. And, uh, yeah. you know, you got this third party situation or some kind of emotional pain that you're dealing with. Devil Nine, my nose is itching. Here we go. You got this queen, but you're using your head about it, okay? Wheel of Fortune's turning in your favor, so luck is on your side. Things are ending and transforming, and they're going to get better. And you got this, you know, put a little love in your heart, I'm hearing, Devil Put a little love in your heart. So there you go, Gemini. Thank you so much. Next up is Cancer. Cancer. Yeah, we're doing Cancer next. Hi, Cancer. How are you guys? Here we go. Two more shuffles. Yes, I hear you loud and clear. Clear and ground. Thank you. Clear and ground. Okay. Here we go. Leo up next. Leo. Hi, Leo. Here we go. Monday, August 22nd, please and thank you. Okay. Got the Princess of Pentacles in reverse. So maybe your money's a little screwed up, okay? Or you, you know, this is uh, Earth Energy. It's Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. You could have this in your chart. But, uh, you know, maybe your money's not flowing too good, I'm hearing. Or, or you can't make ends meet. Too many bills, okay? The cards are up, right? So you got the Seven of Swords in reverse. So you're not stressed out about it, though. You're not stressed out about it. If you're having a little financial, you know, woes, it's really not stressing you out too much. Just make sure all the cards are in the upright. Yes, they are. Okay, here we go. Show me. What else for Leo? Leo, 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 Leo. Well, at least you're not stressed out about it, right, Leo? So now you got the Nine of Cups. This is, you know, changing and persevering. So you will change and persevere through this. And the Nine of One. Uh, nine of One. Perseverance. So, you know, if nothing else, you're going to get through this. You've got your mind made up. Whatever this is, if this is a financial, you know, problem right now, you're changing and persevering through it. Those are two of the same cards. Uh, you got the Three of Swords, Mink, right? And the same thing as Gemini. Wow. Okay, so, you know, you could be experiencing some emotional pain. Again, like <clears throat> like uh, the last one, I think, whoever I read this for, but... um. You know, this is this is uh, this is usually a third party situation. So I hope you're not in one because it's horrible. But uh, this is some kind of emotional pain, okay? And uh, you know, th there is no abundance around you right now. This isn't you know, this is a Taurus card, so you could have Earth in your chart. But you know, right now you're not feeling very abundant. And well, you shouldn't if you're in lack of financial, uh, some kind of financial deficit. I'm hearing. You know, you're stretching your money, I'm hearing, to make to make the ends meet. Hold on, I saw a flipper in there, but we're not taking it because I was looking down at the board and I did not see it flip. So I know I saw one. Hold on. There you go, guys. Right in your face. We do it in your face here on this channel. There's no screwing around. Oh, it's a tower. Hey, mink yachts. We don't need that. Okay, hold on. Not all towers are bad, though. Some towers, you know, they, you, yeah, they're good. Okay, so there could be a Sagittarius around you today or Sagittarius and you, or you're just going to have to find that you're going to have to temper your emotions. Bite your tongue, turn your cheek. Do not indulge in any bullshit. People want to start arguments and shit. Let them go do it themselves, right? Why get your balls busted? Show me. What else for Leo? Leo, please. Leo, okay. Four of Swords. Well, this is anxiety. This is Ajita. This is fear and anxiety. So, you know, temper your emotions, you know. If, if somebody tries to come in and bust your balls they give you anxiety, you throw it right back at them. Don't even indulge. Temper your emotions. All right? Don't, don't engage, I'm hearing. Don't engage. Show me. What else? Okay. Now you have... Oh, my God. All right. So you're not like in manifesting mode right now. This is a Gemini card. You don't feel like you want to, you know... Yeah. You're not maybe able to, to make your money stretch. And if you're in a third-party situation, you're not feeling like you want to move forward and go any, you know, like maybe you don't want to date right now. You don't know which way you want to go with your life, right? Or if you're just coming out of this, if you're feeling emotional today, you might be feeling a little, little emotional today, whether this happened in the past or whether you're going through it now. Now you got the three of wands in reverse. So, you know, you're not at crossroads about this, all right? You're definitely not at crossroads about this. You know how things are going. This whole world came out in reverse, all right? So, you know... You got over here, you got, there is no dishonesty around you. 
you know, or abundance. Yeah. Three of Wands. Here we go. Okay. So you're not at crossroads. Show me what else for Leo. But, you know, you, you are going to be inspired. This is now an Aquarius archetype. All right. So you got Sagittarius, Aquarius. You got uh, Gemini. But, you know, and Taurus. You are, um, you know, you are aware of the beauty and the prosperity that, you know, right now you're not feeling like your money's intact here with this princess of pentacles, right? But, you, you know, you're not abundant, but you know that you could be, all right? You do see the opportunity I'm hearing, opportunity. All right, Leo. You know, you're going to find a way around it if you're having financial uh, problems. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't mean you're in the poor house, but it just means that, you know, shit's tight. Now you got the nine of swords, which is stress. So, yeah, you could be a little stressed out over this today, Leo. So just take it easy, take deep breaths, you know, Relax, let go, and let God. Thank you, Leo. Next up is Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. Hold on a second. Here we go, Virgo. Ground and center, please, and thank you. Here we go. Hi, Delilah. Virgo. Show me Virgo, please, and thank you. Mm. All right, Virgo, here we go. Show me Virgo, please. What does Virgo need to see today? Virgo. Monday, August 22nd, 2022. All right, well, you guys, right now you're learning how to do something new in your life. Whatever that might be for you. It could be a new way of eating. It could be a new way of working because it's pentacles, making money. Maybe you got a side hustle going. So that's where your mind is today. A new way around something. And suffice to say, it's financial, you know? Show me. Yeah, definitely financial. Okay, Virgo. You got the queen of pentacles. This is your energy, okay? This pentacles are, are earth. Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. This queen, you know, male or female... This is a business person. This is somebody, you know, CEO of their own company, a very, you know, smart, confident, responsible, you know, emotionally balanced, well-prepared energy, all right? So, you know, yep. So you're figuring out how to do something different, apprenticeship. We all got to start somewhere with your finances today. You got your minds on your money. Now you got the Ace of Wands. So this is success and passion. So listen, you know, this is somebody who's learning how to do something different and learning how to better handle their money. Apprenticeship. And, you know, this is success and passion. You want to be successful at this. So, now you got the eight of wands. This is fast forward movement. So, you're either fast forward movement out of a situation into a new situation. You could have some incoming information coming fast at you. Maybe about how to, you know, how to, how to fix your financial problems if you're having them. There is a tower coming in, okay? There could be a tower today. This could be a shock, a surprise, something you didn't expect, a kick in the ass or a spirit. So keep your eyes open for that. Could be something small too. It doesn't have to be anything great, but, you know, let me know. You're going to be successful at this, okay? Whatever this is, how you're going to be, learn how to do something new. It's going to be successful, okay? Success success okay you got the five of wands around you this is conflict this is now a leo card all right so you know be mindful of that show me show me show me show me what else for virgo please and thank you virgo 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 I can I have cards for Virgo, please? Thank you. So now you got the Seven of Swords in reverse. So this is, you know, there is no dishonesty around you. So there's not anybody sitting there lying in your face or pulling for gazy shit today, all right? Six of Wands. You will be victorious. You're going to be victorious in whatever this is, okay? This is victory in public recognition. Doesn't mean you're going to be on the, you know, whatever this tower is coming in, it's coming in to give you a boot in the ass to be victorious and successful, okay? Show me. Well, there could be an Aries around, oh, this is Taurus. There could be a Taurus around you or the, you know, you are feeling abundant. So if this is you about your money, how are you going to be learning how to do something new? It's going to bring you abundance. It's going to work. Show me. Two more. Here we go. Okay, you guys got three more. Got to take them. All right. You already know intuitively what you need to do, okay? 
It's about your money, and you're going to manifest it. You're going to make it happen. You have all the tools you need. So, you you know, yeah, that's great. And also, you know, King of Swords, this could be somebody around you, or this could be you if you have air in your chart, but this is thinking, logical. So, you know, you're logically thinking about how to uh, manifest, you know, you know, intuitively your abundance and be victorious. There's no dishonesty around you, but there could be some conflict, but it's going to be right in your face. So be careful of that. You will be successful. You know, spirits coming in, going to give you a kick in the ass so you could find out some shocking news or, you know, something unexpected could happen today. It's going to happen fast. You are successful and passionate. And uh, like I said, you're thinking about new ways to handle your money and you're going to learn. You're going to learn. So there you go. Thank you, Virgo. Now let's go to Libra. Libra. Hey, hey, Libra. Clear and grab my energy, please, and thank you. Here we go. Oh, and this is the nose. The nose is itching, guys. Clear channeling right now. Here we go. One. Two. Perfect. Here we go. Show me Libra, please. Okay, Libra. Well, Ace of Swords. There's going to be a breakthrough today of some sort. Okay, you're going to find out maybe a truth. Okay, and now you got the Four of Wands. This truth is going to bring you into stability. This is an Aries card. Okay, there's going to be some some kind of truth, and and it's going to stabilize you in some way. Let's find out. You know, you had to persevere through something. Whatever you're persevering through, you're going to find the truth out about. Let's find out. Nose is itching, guys. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Now you got the Seven of Cups in reverse. So this is, you know, there's not too many options around you. Not too many ways you could go with this, all right? Show me. At least not today. Show me. Libra, please. Cards for Libra. Libra. Libra, you have the Nine of Cups and you have the Five. All right, so if you guys are feeling any loss and sadness in any situation in your life, you're not feeling it today. And now you have the Nine of Cups, which is, you know, changing and persevering. So you are changing and persevering, you know, yep. Because also, you know, you got the Nine of Wands, which is, you know, persevering. So you guys are getting through something. Good for you. Stand strong. Oh, I'm hearing Walking Tall. That movie Walking Tall is going in my head. So Walk Tall, Libra. You're going to be successful at this. All right? Success and success. Look at all the success coming in for you. I'm so happy. This is the happiest card in the deck. Success, complete success and ultimate completion, right? And success. So whatever you're persevering through, you're going to get through it in a very successful way. You got the five of pentacles. This is, you know, loss and hardship. So, you know, I mean, you had, you know, well, you had some loss and sadness. And, you know, there is loss and hardship around you. For what? I don't know. It could be a relationship. It could be, you know... You know, I hope nobody passed away, is what I'm hearing. But, okay, then the Wheel of Fortune is going to be turning in your favor to get you out of this loss and hardship. Okay, so that's a good thing, all right? So, whatever you experienced in your life in the past or recently, you know, that made you feel sad, it's, the Wheel of Fortune is coming in to change that up. And you're going to have a choice in a matter. So, whatever this matter is, you're going to have to make a choice today about something. You know, whether that's a job, a relationship, a friendship, you know be anything, right? You're going to have a choice to make today. Show me. One more, please. For Libra. Thank you. Oh, geez. Okay, guys, we can't take all those. We're going to take this one, I'm told. Okay. So, you know, you're not, this is, uh, this is an Aquarius energy, and right now, this is the star. It's coming in reverse. So, you know, maybe right now, this choice that you're going to make, it's not, it's not making you too happy. You can't see the, uh, prosperity in it. You can't see, you know, how it's going to turn out to be a good thing. But it is because you got success, okay? So even though you may have two... Oh, okay, Spirit, I hear you. Even though you may have two crappy options to pick from, whichever one you pick, it's going to turn out to be... It's going to turn out to be very successful for you. So try to pick the best one, you know, and roll with it. Roll with it, I'm hearing. Thank you, Libra. Okay, because there's going to be a breakthrough today, so that's a good thing. All right, next up is Scorpio. Clear and get ground my energy, please. Thank you. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. How are you guys? Okay, let's shuffle these. 
and ground. Clear and ground. Thank you. One. One more. The whole trifecta. Here we go. Scorpio. Show me Scorpio. Okay, you got the Five of Swords first out of the box today. So there's some aggression around you today, guys. That's an air energy. All right? Maybe you're feeling ag aggressive towards somebody or people are being aggressive with you. Be mindful of that. Show me. And you got the Princess of Cups. Okay, so this is, you know, a very, this is like the big sister. This is you, Scorpio. This is uh, water energy. This is, you know, a, a loving, helpful, charming energy. So maybe somebody's being aggressive to you and you're just not having it. All right? Okay, now you got the King of Pentacles. This is an Earth energy. So this, you know, this could be two different people around you, or this could be you. This is Earth energy here. This is somebody who's worried about their money. They're a financial wizard. Okay, they want to make sure that they they're financially secure. I'm hearing, all right, financial security is what they're worried about. So maybe you're having a little bit, you know, problems with your money. So everybody seems to be having problems with their money, though. I can tell you that. Now, now you got the Emperor. This is this could be an older man. This could be you know it doesn't have to be a man. This could be this is an Aries card. So there could be an Aries around you, but this is abundant. See, this King of Pentacles wants to be abundant. So that's what you're worried about. You're worried about you know. Show me. Okay, let's go. Show me, Scorpio, please, Scorpio. Give me Scorpio. Okay, now you got the Prince of Swords. Air, energy, all right? This is somebody who's logically thinking, okay? This is an adventurer. This is somebody who's not afraid to take chances, okay? So this Prince of Swords, you know, is thinking about, you know, yeah, his money. This is uh, financially based here today, Scorpio. Okay, sorry, Delilah. And you're about to take a new leap of faith. This is now an Aries card. So you got two, you know, Aries card. Maybe a lot of you have Aries in your chart, or there's an Aries that's involved in this. But <coughs> this is taking a leap of faith. So go for it. I always say it's no harm in trying and failing. The harm is not trying at all. So take that leap of faith. It's going to turn out amazing for you. Okay? Let's see. So if you got, you know, if you something that comes up today, maybe, you know, financially. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have three of cups. Okay, well, this is, you know, leaving you in a place where you're feeling, you know, friendly. You Maybe you need to go out and have a drink with your friends or hang out with your friends a little bit, celebrate something. You know, maybe this leap of faith is going to give you a reason to celebrate today, right? Show me. Show me. What do I need to see? Scorpio, please. Scorpio. Okay. This is crazy. Come on out. Show me. Spirit and ancestors, can I have cards for Scorpio, please? And thank you. Yeah? Yeah. Go. Okay, thank you. Okay, well, there you go. That's great. All right, so listen. This is completion and ultimate happiness. So whatever leap of faith you're going to take, it's going to put you in a very happy mood. And you're going to feel, there's going to be a completion and a happiness. You're going to be abundant. The emperor is abundant. Okay? There could be a towel coming in for you today. So you could find out some information that might be shocking or, you know, something that's unexpected. So something unexpected could happen to you today. And maybe because of this leap of faith that you're going to take. Now, oh, Ace of Swords, there will be a breakthrough in the truth. Maybe you're going to find out a truth, okay? But there is a breakthrough today in some area. And yeah, but there could be, you know, a shocking surprise. So that could be a good surprise, right? Now you got the Four of Pentacles. And I did see another flipper in here. Let's see where it went. Okay, the Four of Pentacles is holding on tightly. And you got the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. So maybe you're going to be, you know, you're going to find a break. But maybe you're going to want to hold on tightly to something. Or you will be holding on tightly. Maybe you're not going to be spending too much money today. And the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. So there could be a new beginning in something. So whatever this tower is that's coming in, it could, like, there's a truth and a breakthrough that's going to make you have a new beginning today, Scorpio, in some area of your life. Maybe financially, because there's Pentacles all over this. So good luck. You will be completely successful. All right. Thank you, and see you tomorrow. Next up is Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Clear and ground my energy, please. Thank you. Sagittarius, here we go. Hi, Sag. How are you guys today? Well, that didn't work out too well, now did it? There we go. Okay. 
Okay, Sag, here we go. Show me what Sagittarius needs to move, my own. Okay, well, here we go. Okay, so right now, Sagittarius, you guys are weighing your options and in need of balance, okay? And, and you will be, <clears throat> you know, you're balancing out your stability, okay? There's something that's, you're balancing out your stability in some area of your life, okay? You're thinking about it, you're weighing your options, you're going to balance out your stability. Now you got an eight of swords around you today. This is your, you could be overthinking about this. All right, definitely overthinking and definitely for sure with the Hermit card here, this is a Virgo energy now. So this is going in, seeking your own light, your own inner wisdom. So, you know, you, yeah, you're in your head about something. The, the world, there is going to be completion and, and ultimate success in this. <clears throat> and there will be fairness and balance. There could be a Libra involved now. So you got to, yep, that's really good actually. It's really good. Show me. Okay, so now you got a nine of cups. This is water energy. It's changing and persevering. So I'm hearing roll with the times. You will be successful at this. I mean, you got success written all over this. So this is about your money because of the pentacles. You're overthinking, you know, it seems like to be money based all over the board today. You know, you're seeking your own inner wisdom. You know everything you need to know. You're going to be completely successful at this. There will be a breakthrough, okay? Show me. You just got to change and persevere. What else do we have? What else do we have? Show me. Show me, please, and thank you. Show me. Sagittarius, please. Show me Sagittarius. Okay, we got it. Here we go. We got the King of Cups. So this could be somebody around you. Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Okay. This could be you or somebody around you. Okay. You got two different people here. So this could be like, a, and you got the King of Pentacles. So your boss might, you know, but whatever this is, it's about finances. All right. It's about, this is the daddy king. This is, you know, a loving, warm energy. And this is the financial wizard. Okay. So, you know, you apply them to your situation. Uh, not particularly... You, you know, this is a warm energy and this is a kind energy. These are the two best kings. The Wheel of Fortune is coming to turn in your favor, okay? You're coming into your own reading, Sagittarius. This is your card. Now you got this Ace of Pentacles. There is a new beginning and you're going to be holding on tightly to something today, all right? So you're holding on tightly to something. There is a new beginning. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor and giving you a new beginning here, Sag. You could have two different archetypes around you. This could be the same person that embodies both earth and water, okay? So this is a warm, loving person that knows how to handle their money. This could be you, or this could be two different people. You will be successful at it. You do have to change a little bit, but there will be a breakthrough. The world is turning, you know, completion and ultimate uh, happiness. you got this hermit here. There could be somebody that has Virgo in their chart or a Virgo, but this could be you as well, going inside to seek your own inner wisdom. You will be overthinking something. You definitely, you know, you're looking for stability and you're weighing your options, so... Let me know how that turns out, Sag. Okay, and wish you all the best till tomorrow. Now, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Hi, Capricorn. How are you guys? Clearing ground my energy, please. And thank you. One. Two. Three. All right, Cap. Here we go. Show me Capricorn, please, and thank you. All right. Here we go. All right, well, if there was any dishonesty around you today, it, uh, it's not there. If there was, I'm not today. If there was any dishonesty around you recently, it's gone. So there's nobody going to be lying in your face and bullshitting you today. So that's a good thing. Okay, show me. Now you got the high priestess. Uh, you know, you're not using your intuition today. Okay, this is somebody who's not like in tune with themselves today. Feeling out of sorts. Show me. Now at least nobody's blowing smoke up your ass, right? The high priestess, you know, she's all knowing. This is somebody who, who's very intuitive. Okay, now you got the ten of cups. This ten of cups is ultimate happiness. So... You know. Okay. Show me. Show me what we have. Go. Give it to me, please, and thank you. Capricorn. I need Capricorn. Thank you. Six of Pentacles. This is stability. 
All right? So you have, you know, there is ultimate happiness around you today, and it's going to be very stable. Whatever this is, it's going to be stable, okay? Maybe you're not intuitively feeling it, or you're not trusting yourself here, but there is no dishonesty in this situation. Show me. Oh, this could involve some legal matters or something traditional. This could involve marriage, uh, schooling, you know, any kind of paperwork. So be careful what you're signing and what you're doing. Make sure you read everything through and through. Measure twice, cut once, I'm hearing. Because you will be successful. You will be successful. All right. And if it's only successful in finding whatever makes you completely happy, don't worry about anybody else, okay? You have to be stable and happy. Once you're stable and happy, then you can then, you know, make other people. But you got to take care of yourself. You got to love yourself first, right, Capricorn? You got to love yourself first. Show me. Okay. Here we go. Nine of Swords. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to have to be strong. And there is some stress around you, okay? So you're going to have to be strong to get through this stress. Persevere. You're going to have to persevere. You got an Ace of Cups here. This is joy and inner peace. So you're going to be successful at finding your joy and inner peace. Maybe you just don't intuitively see it right now. You got an Aquarius or an Aquarius archetype around you. So you got Leo Aquarius. You got, uh, yeah, okay. So listen, <clears throat> you also have uh, Taurus here. Uh, you know, this is beauty and inspiration. This is prosperity. This is the divine shining down on you. There could be a Capricorn or somebody that has Capricorn in their chart. So this could be you coming into your own reading. But any toxic behaviors, any toxic you know, people around you, anything that that you do too much of or that's, you know, not for your higher good needs to be getting kicked to the curb, okay? And now you've got an eight of pentacles. So you will be working hard at this. So if this is some kind of an addiction or some kind of a bad behavior, you're going to work hard at getting rid of it. You can see, you can see, you can see the, um, the, the, what's the word? I don't know. You can see the positive, what? Okay, spirit. You can see the positivity in getting rid of this toxicity. Wow, that's a mouthful. The positivity of getting rid of this toxicity. No wonder why I couldn't spit it out. And you're going to, you know, you have your inner strength. You're going to be resilient in this. It's like I said, a Leo, an Aquarius, a Capricorn, uh, you know, a Taurus. There you go. So, yeah, good for you, Capricorn. I'm really happy for you. Let's do this again. Now you got the Seven of Swords in reverse. So there is no dishonesty around you. You're not really using your tuition, intuition. There is ultimate happiness around you, or at least that's what you're seeking. You just need to, uh, you know, stabilize yourself, or you, you want to stabilize yourself. There could be some legal matters or anything traditional here. You will be successful at this. Just be very careful today of any stress. Don't get yourself overstressed out. Show your inner resilience and strength, okay? You're going to, you know, you need some fortitude and some resilience to get through something here. And again, you have to be, <clears throat> excuse me, you have to be, you know, you have to persevere through it. You got this Ace of Cups here. This is joy and inner peace. So, and there is beauty and inspiration and prosperity in this situation. You just got to kick any toxicity to the curb. And then you're going to be working hard at it. So there you go. Thank you, Capricorn. Yeah, work hard at getting rid of that toxicity, whatever it is, even if it's toxic people, okay? Very important. Misery loves company, right, Capricorn? Now we're going to do Aquarius. Clear and grab my energy, please. Thank you. Hi, Aquarius. How are you guys? Let's do our shuffle. One. Not only me. Two. Three. Don't forget, please, find it in your heart. If you can't hit the like, hit the dislike. But hit a button, get your energy out there. Please and thank you. Show me Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to see today? What does Aquarius need to see today? Thank you. All right, Aquarius. You got them coming in sideways. They're looking like they're upside down. You got the Prince of Wands and the Prince of Cups in reverse. So, you know... This is fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and this is water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So this is, you know, this is somebody who's not, you know, they're not feeling very organized. They're kind of, they're feeling very, uh, well, okay. This could be, a, <laughs> all right, look, I don't know if you hate this word, but this could be like a narcissist in training around you today, and they're feeling it. So somebody might be coming in to bust your balls today, all right? And it's going to be emotionally taxing on you. It's going to be emotionally taxing on you. So be careful of anybody coming in to press your buttons today, Yeah. Aquarius, in an emotional way, okay? You're holding on tightly to something. Now, this could, you know, this, 
This is not being stingy. This is just holding on to what you have so nobody takes it. Maybe you're keeping, you know, your information to yourself, which is, I always encourage that, right? You don't have to let everybody know anything. It's on a need-to-know basis, right? Now you got this nine of swords. So this is stress. This is going to be stressing you out a little today, all right? Whatever, whatever you're trying to either keep to yourself or not have to share with everybody, like you're not required to share everything you have, I'm hearing. So just keep that in mind, Aquarius. You know, because there could be somebody coming in here. This could be the same person, okay? This cups and the swans. They could have water and fire or something like that in their chart. But they're coming in to, to aggravate you, okay? There could be somebody around you looking to aggravate your balls. Today. This is what I'm hearing. Male or female, all right? I know females that have bigger balls than men. So, you know, that's how that goes. Here we go. Here we go. Show me. Show me Aquarius, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Okay. Well, that one definitely wants to come out. Ace of Swords. All right. There will be a breakthrough. You might find out a truth today, but these are the facts, okay? So there could be a breakthrough in some area in your life today. Now, whether that's, you know, yeah, whether it's this idiot, you know, coming in to aggravate you or whether, you know, whatever this is, it could stress you out a little. You might find out a truth that's going to stress you out. And it could be this jerk off coming in to tell you some kind of a truth just to press your buttons. Don't let anybody get a reaction out of you, I'm hearing. Okay, Aquarius, don't give it to them. It's what they want. This is a very purposeful, vindictive, like, you know, trying to manipulate you into a reaction kind of energy, all right? Keep that in mind. You know, this in reverse is not somebody, oh, my nose is that you're coming from a warm, loving place. They're coming from a mean place. And the Prince of Wands, well, we don't have to talk about that. That's fire. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So I'm not saying anything bad about Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. God knows I have enough fire in my chart for five people. But you know what? Twist me around the wrong way and it's ugly. It's ugly, ugly, ugly. Okay, so here we go. Now we got the Princess of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, just notice that all my cards are in the upright. So, you know, this is spirit pushing them out this way. This could be, you know, your finances are a little disarray today. Maybe you're a little short today. You know, it is Monday. Maybe you spent too much on the weekend. But, uh, you know, you, you got an ace of wands now. This is, you know, success and passion. So if your money's a little, you, you, maybe you're going to find out something about your money today. But whatever it is, oh, my nose is itching. You're going to be holding on tightly to, uh, and you're going to, you know, you're going to be successful at it. You will. You just got to give it a minute. This is what I'm hearing. Now you got this king of swords. This is air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And this is, you're going to be using your head about this, okay? So if this is you, if this is not somebody else that's coming into, that's thinking and giving you an idea on how to handle whatever this aggravation is up here, this is you using your head and not letting these, these people or this person, you know, manipulate you. Okay? That's what I'm hearing, Aquarius. Don't let people manipulate you. Oh, my nose is itching. Here we go. A couple more for Aquarius, please, and thank you. Aquarius, please, and thank you. Please and thank you. Aquarius. Oh, Jesus, that's way too many, guys. So we're going to take this one. The Queen of Pentacles. Yep. Okay, so this, you see, so now it's turned around. Now, you know, this, you figured out at this point today how to make your money, you know, maybe you're short for the week because you spend too much on the weekend, like I said. I don't know why I keep hearing that, but... Um, you know, this could be somebody around you, earth energy, or this could be you figuring out how to make your money stretch. You know, handling your money in a better way. Handling your money in a better way, I'm hearing. Okay. A couple more cards, please, and thank you. Show me. Show me. Aquarius, please. Okay, you got the hermit. So this could be a Virgo around you. You could have Virgo on your chart, or you could just be, you know, going and seeking your own wisdom on how to better handle your money. Maybe you're putting yourself on a budget, I'm hearing. Ah, maybe some of you got to put yourself on a budget. Spirit screaming budget. <laughs> I'm just telling you, okay? <coughs> yep. So that you're not feeling, you know, um, lost in hardship, okay? You have to go on a budget, somebody. You, <laughs> somebody out there needs to be going on a budget, okay? You have to handle your money better. So this way you're not feeling lost in hardship. You can make your money stretch. Don't be in denial about this. It's okay. Budgets are okay, you know? But whatever this is, don't be in denial about it. Because you will be successful. This is the emperor. This is an Aries card. This is full abundance. So if you stick your, if you put yourself on a budget and you manage your money a little better, you're going to be very abundant. You're going to be successful at this. So good for you, Aquarius. Next, last but not least, is Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Clear and ground my energy, please. Thank you. Hi, Pisces. Okay, here we go. Tell me what Pisces needs to see. For their higher good. 
Monday, August 22nd, or whenever they come across this. Delilah! Hey, Delilah, how you doing? Okay, guys, here we go. There we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Show me Pisces, please, and thank you. Oh, my God, Pisces, that's great. What a way to start the day. We're in the week. The Wheel of Fortune's turning in your favor, okay? In a positive way. This is good karma coming at you. Either t today, this week, it's, it's turning in your favor. Okay. Now you got, you know, oh, look at this. All right, so you're going to be weighing your options and need a balance after this. This is going to knock you for a loop. This is something really good that's going to hit you first thing, you know, and it's it's going to put you in a place where you're going to need to balance yourself out and weigh your options. There's a tower coming in. It's a good tower because it's the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. So this is spirit coming in to give you a kick in the ass in one direction or another. It's going to be it's going to be a good tower, okay? These people voluntarily chose to jump out of that building. So it's going to be something that's going to make you... Yep, that's what it is. Successful. Good karma coming around the mountain. It's your turn, Pisces. It's your turn. Okay. Now you got this princess of cups. So this is, you know, this could be you. Or this could be somebody around you today. But it's an innocent, warm, loving energy. It's trustworthy. There's no fugazi crap going on with this one, okay? It's like the big sister of the bunch. You know, she'll lend you clothes. She'll, you know, teach you how to make out. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know why I just said that. Okay. Spirit is feeling kind of funny right here. But, you know, it's a, it's a big sister energy. Protective, warm, loving. Okay. Show me. It could be, it could be a sister or something or a cousin or something like that. Now you got the Ten of Cups. Good for you. This is ultimate happiness. So your Wheel of Fortune is coming in to bring you ultimate happiness here. Okay. See that? That's great, Pisces. I'm so happy for you. Show me some more. Oh, this is probably one of the best of the day here. If not the best for today. Okay, six of wands. This is, you know, this is victory in public recognition. Now, you're going to be victorious at this, right? Whatever this is that this, you know, the Wheel of Fortune, this tower is, it's going to bring you to victory. Public recognition, I tell you people all the time, doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be on the news tonight. But people will be looking at you like, you know, you victoriously handled the situation, overcame a situation. You're victorious in getting your ultimate happiness here, whatever this tower is that's coming in. And then you're going to be holding on tight. Probably to your money. Don't be, you know, you're not going to want to spend it frivolously. If, you, if this is some money coming in for you, you're going to better handle it. You're going to budget it much better and you're going to make it last. This could be a tower coming in to bring you some money. It's going to make you victorious and bring you ultimate happiness here. Okay? Show me. Show me, please, and thank you. Here we go. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Thank you. You got the Prince of Pentacles now. Okay, so there you go. What did I just tell you? Learning how to better handle your finances. So you you, you got this tower coming here. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. It's going to bring you victorious and ultimate happiness. You could have some money coming in. You're going to find out about some money today, maybe. All right, Pisces? And that's great. And you're going to handle it a lot better. You're, you're in a place where you're, you're open to learning how to better budget your money and handle it better, I'm hearing. Make it last. Stretch it out. Not let everybody know what you have. Keeping it under wraps. Yeah, yeah. Show me. Please and thank you. A couple of more for Pisces, please. Pisces, please and thank you. Show me. Okay. Well, we got it. Here we go. Oh, great. Okay, so yeah. All right, this is a cancer energy now. There could be things that you don't know about this, okay? So be very careful. Uh, you know, you got Sagittarian energy, Scorpio, uh, now you got cancer, but, uh, you know, they could, uh, this is not necessarily lies, but they could be things you don't know. But since this is, this, since this has come, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor in a good way with this tower, probably to bring you in some finances, maybe you don't know how to handle them. Maybe you're not used to having this money, or maybe you need, you know, there's things you need to learn, okay? There's, th there's things you don't know. So, and this is Ace of Swords. This is the truth. This is a breakthrough. So there is a breakthrough here. You see, that's a good breakthrough. It's coming through. And you're going to, you know, I'm so happy to see this Four of Pentacles here because this means you're not going to be, you know, um, you're just frivolously spending your money or showing off or going out and buying cars and everything. Don't let anybody know you're keeping it. You're, you're learning. You're keeping it to yourself. That's good. No, you know, and this Four of Wands here. 
Again, fire energy. This is stability. So this is going to bring you stability. The tab is coming in. You're going to keep it up. You're not telling everybody about this. And well, you shouldn't. Need to know basis. It's going to bring you stability. This breakthrough is going to bring you stability. It's just some things you don't know. You're going to have to figure out. Maybe how to, you know, budget or handle it. Or, you know, maybe you'll, yeah. Just learning how to keep your mouth shut. And now you've got the seven of wands. So this is standing your ground. Stand your ground. Yeah, Pisces. Stand your ground. Okay. Stand your ground because you got stability. There is a breakthrough. There could be some stuff you don't know. You're learning how to handle your money. You're keeping your mouth shut about it. That's good. It's going to bring you stability, right? And ultimate happiness. Again, you put a little, you got love in your heart. You're coming, you know, this could be somebody around you, but they're innocent. And, you know, the tower's coming in to shake shit up and give you a kick in the ass, but it's a good tower. Okay. And you're going to be needing to weigh yourself and balance yourself out. You know, recalibrate. I'm hearing recalibrate. Thank you, ancestors. The wheel of fortune's coming in your favor. So, on that note, guys, Thank you so much. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God. Also remember, I will never contact you under any circumstances. If you need me for anything, I got a couple, two openings, I think, for next week still left. Uh, you know, I want to make a donation. Or if you just need somebody to talk to, you need to contact me. Anybody contacts you, please, please, please do not be giving your money out, okay? Nobody wants to see you get taken for your money. So thank you so much. Till tomorrow, love and light.